in step one, you're going to wire your actuator with your power source. Now I've already done that here. You're going to be putting the neutral in terminal one and the hot in terminal two. For step two in the calibration of the 4 to 20 board, you're going to go ahead and connect your control signal. You're going to be putting the positive in five, negative in four. And you're ready to move on to the next step. Step three, what I want you to do is to turn on your power supply, unless it's already on, which you should be ashamed of yourself for working on anything that's still connected to power. Anyways, once your power is on, you're going to give it a uh, 4 milliamp signal. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4 milliamp signal here. All right, and now as it's running, if the valve does not travel far enough, you're going to rotate the zero trim pot. That's this one here on the left hand side. You're going to rotate that clockwise in very small increments until you achieve the desired closed position. Even with step four, when the actuator reaches the signal that's given, as you'll notice, the LED light has shut off. What you want to be careful of is if the LED light is still on and your actuator has stopped moving, that means that it has reached the factory set travel limit and you need to go ahead and take that zero trim and then you need to go counterclockwise with it. So after you've calibrated the zero trim potentiometer here by setting it to four milliamps and rotating in small increments clockwise until you've reached the desired position. Yeah, so when you're finished with that, you can move on to the span trim pot, which is here on the right hand side. The span controls the open. So you're going to give it a 20 milliamp signal. And you notice the, the red LED light down here is on. That light will stay on as long as it's traveling. If the actuator stops operating and that light is still lit, that means, once again, you've reached the factory set travel limits. Then you're going to want to turn it counterclockwise. Now in the last step of this setup, I'm going to show you the positions of the jumper for fail position. Right here, this is how it will be shipped to you. This is factory set to fail in the last position. The jumper is on the middle on the bottom, going up. If you want it to fail in the open position, you'll take the jumper, turn it sideways, I'll get my hand out of here in just a second, and you'll put it on the middle and left hand side towards the red. If you want it to fail closed, then you'll do it the opposite side, the middle and the right hand side towards the green. Red is for open and green is for closed. Okay? Now again, this is fail last position, the factory setting is there.